Welcome to Lunch of the Lord. I'm Pastor Mark, and this lesson we're going to be looking at another very interesting and important valley, and it's called the Valley of Decision. The Valley of Decision. And this valley is also known as the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Now, the name Jehoshaphat means God is judge. The only valley referred to as the Valley of Jehoshaphat is the Kidron Valley. And this Kidron Valley lies between Jerusalem and the Mount of Olives on the east side of the city of Jerusalem. I don't know if you've ever been to Israel or not. I was back in 1981. I took a trip to Israel and um, between the city of Jerusalem, there's a valley that goes down and then it goes up and then the, the Mount of Olives and that's called the Kidron, the Kidron Valley. Well, it's also known as the, Jeho the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And also we're going to see it's called the Valley of Decision. Now, the Valley of Decision is a prophetic picture of the val of the Battle of Armageddon. An overview of the book of Joel we're going to be looking at concerning this valley of decision. Now, Joel was using a present day event to describe upcoming events in the future. So, as Joel is writing his letter, he's using uh, things that are events that are going on in his time to to speak about prophetic events in the future. Now, in chapter one, because of Israel's sins. Now, let's read verse five. It says, "Awake, ye drunkards, and weep and howl, all ye drinkers of wine, because of the new wine." for it is cut off from your mouth. Now, because of Israel's sins in verse 5 of Joel chapter 1, God had allowed locusts to come in and to destroy the land. In verse 4, it says, And that, that which the uh, palmer worm hath left, hath the locust eaten, and, has, and that which the locust has left, hath the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm hath left, hath the caterpillar eaten. And then in verse 12, it says, The vine is dried up, and the fig tree languished. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field, are withered, because joy is withered away from the sons of men. So here Israel is being judged by God because of their sins. And what is the remedy? What is God's remedy for the children of Israel? It's in seen in verse 14. It says, Sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly, Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry unto the Lord. So the remedy for Israel was to come together and to fast and to cry out to God with repentance. So chapter 1 deals with Israel's sins and God judging Israel for their sins by bringing a famine in the land. And also, God gives the remedy to cry out unto him and to repent and, and, and confess their sin unto him. Now, chapters 2 and 3 of Joel deal with, deal with the world's sins. The world. So, in chapter 1 of Joel, it's dealing with Israel's sins. Chapters 2 and 3 is dealing with the sins of the world, the rest of the world. Now, because of the world's sins, like locusts, 
God is bringing in all nations of the world to be judged. And God brings them to the valley of Jehoshaphat, or the valley of decision for judgment. We see this in chapter 3, verses 2 and 12. It says, I will, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Verse 12 says, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So, verse verses uh, chapter 3, verses 2 and 12 speak of God bringing the, bringing the nations of the world to the valley of Jehoshaphat, the valley of decision to, for judgment. In chapter 3, verses 15 and 16, it, God destroys the nations, but he protects his own people. Verse 15 says, the sun and the moon shall be darkened, the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But, but the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Now, to the view, to the view of the nations, the battle of Armageddon is to come up against Israel and to defeat Israel. But to God's view, the battle of Armageddon is, is that he, he is bringing them, he is bringing all these nations to this valley because it's time for judgment. <laughs> so, during the, the, the battle of Armageddon, the nations of the world are saying, let's go to Israel. We're going to, we're going to kill the Is all the Israelites. We're going to go there and we're going to kill all the Jews, right? And so that's the mentality of the, of the kingdoms of this world uh, in the last days when they come to the valley of Jehoshaphat, to the battle of Armageddon, and their, their, their purpose is we're going to we're going to wipe Israel away. We're going to clean it off. We're going to kill them all. Well, but God's view is, I'm going to bring all these nations to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I'm going to judge them there. So God's, God's put a hook in their jaw, and he's going to drag them to the valley of Jehoshaphat. They think they're coming for one reason, but in reality, they're going there for a whole different reason. Let's look at some things that happened in this valley. Why is it called the Valley of Decision? We're going, the reason is because many people made decisions concerning this valley, all right? Decisions were made, uh, and, and, and this valley is associated with those decisions. Number one, David fled from Absalom across this valley. In 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23, David flees from his son. David makes a decision to flee from his son, and, and he, he flees through the valley of decision. Number two, in 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 37, this valley of decision was the boundary that was fixed by Solomon that Shimei was not to cross. But eventually, Shimei did make the decision to cross that valley, and because of that, he was killed for it. Number three, King Asa, King Hezekiah, and King Josiah, all three of these kings, through the idols of the of the children of Israel into it and they burned them their idols were judged so 
King Asa, King Hezekiah, King Josiah, through the idols of the children of Israel, they made a decision to clean out the idols from, from Israel. And they threw them into this Kidron Valley, into the Valley of Decision, and they burned them there. Number four, the Garden of Gethsemane was at the foot of the Mount of Olives. Remember, you have the Mount of Olives, the city of Jerusalem, and between them is the Kidron Valley, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Decision. And on the side of the Mount of Olives is the, uh, the Garden of Gethsemane. So the Garden of Gethsemane is right down there where the Kidron Valley is. So the, the Garden of Gethsemane was at the foot of the Mount of Olives, which puts it also in the Kidron Valley. And it was in this garden, the Garden of Gethsemane, that Jesus, went, Jesus often went with his disciples. Jesus sweat great drops of blood. Judas betrayed Jesus there. And also, it was from this Garden of Gethsemane from which Jesus was taken to the high priest. So again, decisions were made in this Kidron Valley, this Valley of Jehoshaphat. While on the Mount, number five, while on the Mount of Olives, Jesus beheld Jerusalem, overlooking the Valley of Decision, and wept over Jerusalem because of the coming judgment for rejecting the Messiah. Number six, Jesus crossed the valley of decision on his way to the cross in John chapter 18, verse 1. He made a decision. I'm dying on the cross. I'm doing, I'm doing the Father's will. And he passed through the valley of decision to pay for our sins. And number seven, Jesus ascended into heaven over top of this valley and will return to earth to reign for a thousand years in Acts chapter 1 and verse 11. So a lot of things, a lot of people made decisions in this, in this valley or over top of this valley or looking over this valley. The battle of Armageddon will stretch from the city of Megiddo in the north to Edom in the south, which is approximately 200 miles. And it will stretch from the Mediterranean Sea in the west to Moab in the east, which is approximately 100 miles. So the Valley of Armageddon stretches 200 miles long and 100 miles wide. The battle area will be approximately 20,000 square miles. But the center, the center of the battle of Armageddon, it seems that the center will be in this Valley of Kidron, the Valley of Decision, all right? The Valley of Jehoshaphat. On the east side of Jerusalem, between Jerusalem and the Mount of Olives. So the very hub, the center uh, of the fighting of the Valley of Armageddon, this, this, I'm sorry, the Battle of Armageddon will be taking place right there in the Kidron Valley. The Valley of Decision is a valley of judgment. Some people enter this valley to escape, as David did from Absalom. Some people enter this, this valley to pronounce judgment on the idols of their life. God convicted their heart and now they judge these idols and they burn them away from their heart. And this is what happened with, with uh, Asa and Hezekiah and Josiah. They've made a decision to burn away the idols of their heart. And this is what we do. We, 
we, we burn away the, we enter into the valley of decision to burn the idols away from our heart. Some people enter this valley to have God bring judgment on their prayer life, on their study life, on their church life, their family life, their work life. And this is important. If you're having a problem in, in, in your life, in any area of your life, enter into the valley of decision the valley of God's judgment. Let God judge that part of your life. I don't mean to condemn, but I mean to pronounce judgment and to bless you and encourage you and strengthen you there. And there are some who enter this valley to bring judgment upon God. As we said in Joel chapters 2 and 3, the nations of the world were coming to, to the valley of Jehoshaphat to bring judgment upon God and his people, to kill the Jews. But instead, it was God who was judging them. <laughs> but behind all of these who enter into this valley, ultimately, ultimately, God is the one who is drawing them there. God is the one who's drawing them there. Every unsaved person is brought to this valley to decide either for or against Christ. Every unsafe person is brought to the valley of decision in their life where they either have to give their hearts to Christ, make a decision to choose for him and, and what he did on the cross and the love that he showed on the cross or to decide to reject it. Every single person is brought to, a, to the valley of decision. But don't be afraid of this valley. Even Jesus, even Jesus, when he passed through this valley, what happened? When Jesus passed through this valley, he was delivered to the high priest, then he was crucified, and then he was raised in newness of life. So also, we also are delivered to the high priest who is Jesus Christ. We also, in our valley of decision, we, are del we pass through this valley of decision and we're delivered to our high priest, Jesus Christ, to be judged and delivered unto death in order that we will be raised in newness of life. And this is the hope that we have. This is the tremendous hope that the word of God gives us is that, yes, we do have to pass through the valley of death, through the valley in a sense of decision and, and, and die to this world. But we, as Jesus was delivered to the high priest, he was killed and raised from the dead into newness of life. So also we are delivered to our high priest. We die unto this world and we, we enter into newness of life through Jesus Christ. We can enter into it. We can have a new prayer life. Why? I've been through the, I've been through the valley of decision, right? Do you, do you want to have a, you want to have a strong study life? Pass through the valley of, ask God to draw you to the valley of decision, right? Do you want to have a better, a, a better, uh, a prayer life? then ask God to draw you to the valley of decision, right? And, and if there's things in your life that you want changed, that you want to be stronger in towards God, to pray and say, God, draw me to the valley of decision. Draw me there. Judge me, God. And God's judgment is, is out of love. Understand that God's judgment is out of love and care and he wants to bless you. He wants to strengthen you. But, but we need to be brought to the valley of decision and be judged by God so that we can be raised in newness of life as Jesus was. God bless you.